I mean, why would I select my deck before he selects his deck? Oh. What's the worst version of my deck? Well, I'm gonna go for it. Let's do it. Hey! Oh, I thought he was gonna change deck now. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, our deck is just kind of a stronger version. Bolt of Damocles, only one incarnation. Two Thunder High Packs, only one emissary. So this guy clearly doesn't have all the cards he wants. Wrath of Gold, Mr. Favernus. You know, the Wrath of Gold card is actually something I found to be kind of interesting. I didn't expect it to be any good, but it turns out it's actually not even that terrible. Because, like, more often than not, gold is actually just not important. Like, at all. Okay, cool. We just pass. Like, we just have no reason to do anything. And DC only plays 40 cards. <laughs> Finally, somebody understands that. He's got two arcane swords. Is there anything in particular I need to, like, look out for? I guess it's just the same deck. City Magicians. Double Sati uh, Magicians and Aghanim Sanctum, so the ramp is a little bit more reliable. Not by much, but just a tiny little bit. So we Sanctum here. We're almost certainly gonna AD this line. That's pretty much a perfect setup for it. Like, this is near a dream situation for an AD on this line. So, yeah. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go out and pray on the week here. Blood like, that's 12 additional damage we are pushing right now. Then we have this, and we just pass. Oh, here my ogre is still alive? Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's all I really need. Like, honestly, this lane, I'm totally fine with this just happening. Like, that was just a waste of time. Actually, my ogre is going to die. Maybe I do just blow this up. Like, I could just at any cost here. Which just slows this down a little bit. And, like, honestly, that might be all I need. Delightful. Yeah, I think I'll just at any cost this, honestly. Your life is forfeit. Like, these kind of lanes, this kind of lane is going to try to snowball. That's what I'm doing in lane 1. The only difference is that he's doing in lane 3 while I'm doing in lane 1. So I get to win first. <laughs> right? And so uh, I'm actually fine with using it at any cost here. First of all, it makes it so my Ogre Magi... Uh, well, my Ogre Magi would have died anyway. But like I, I just kind of want to get the Ogre Magi out of there. Um, but also it kills the creeps, right? And it slows down the snowball. And that's all we need. We just need to slow down the snowball. As long as we're slowing that down, we're fine. Now, and at any, any cost in the top lane would suck, but this guy doesn't play at any cost, so we are fine. Alright, turn 5. What's the worst thing? Uh, Wrath of Gold, maybe? Wrath of Gold in the top lane wouldn't even be that good. Mm, Prey on the weak, Conflagration. Conflagration will kind of suck a little bit, but we can deal with it. Mm. Going into next turn, Annihilation. So if we draw a stars align, we just win, right? So we'll just hope for that. Oh, Ogre also going top. So it's just trying to stall. Yeah, so Wrath of Gold is probably worst case scenario. Which is not really that bad of a worst case scenario, but it is worst case scenario. Okay, we can get double Thunder God's Wrath next turn, which is pretty big. Conflagration I wouldn't be too happy about either. But uh, he can't Stars align and then Annihilation. He's only got blue heroes. So 
options are super limited. The worst thing, I think, is probably, again, either the Wrath of Gold or Prey on the Wake. Allow me to I'm not too senses. worried about the Satyr Magician. I'll go ahead and just throw this guy down. It ramps us a little bit. I mean, we could refresh and annihilate. <laughs> We're just getting started. All right, cool. Now we just wait. Yeah, you can draw. How's Wrath of Gold work? Uh, it just kind of like does damage based on how much gold you have. Although the guy only has two gold, so actually me saying Wrath of Gold just, you know, it would do a total of eight damage. I think, well, Wrath of Gold, it does damage to any unit. All right. Um, now, the kind of deck that we are playing, like this is why I'm actually saying that I think Wrath of Gold is a bit better than I originally gave it credit for. Um, Wrath of Gold is the kind of card that is just, um, just kind of blows up everything really effectively if you have enough money. And this kind of deck actually doesn't need money. Like money is just not really that important to us. Quite frequently, I find myself in a situation where I have just run out of money and it's fine. Oh, no run out of money what am i saying out of items to buy right i've just spent all of my money i've run out of items to buy and i just, just i guess i just that's okay right like cool don't need this yeah i just have so much money left over and i can just spend it on whatever so uh in that situation you know like a wrath of gold is just uh the ultimate late game clear which seems really good like honestly being able to just like blow up everything seems nice and powerful I don't know. Could work in Payday deck. No, I don't think you want to play this in a Payday deck because Payday deck wants to build big items, right? I think you want to build the. I want to. I think you want to use Wrath of Gold as late game clear and kind of like a blue deck that doesn't rely so much on items, right? If you look at my item list, you can see everything is really cheap. You can buy a lot of this stuff for hardly any money. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything for the rest of this. I'm just kind of keeping initiative. So that, of course, does suck a little bit, but that makes me even happier that I ended up blowing up this lane earlier. Now, I think blowing up that lane was just totally the right call. I hope he doesn't heal the Kana. Although he might just double Thunder God's Wrath next turn. More undecided than that. We'll have to figure it out. Definitely using one of them. If he, if he doesn't heal the Kana, then I think I'll just use one. It comes down to what I draw here, but... Like, I'm really glad I got initiative because what we're going to do is we're going to go with initiative. Fun of God's Wrath, this, right? It's going to kill the Ogre. We're going to take any options away and then kill the Kana down here. So I'm going to push even more. Oh, wow. Thanks for killing those for me. More card draw. All right, that's fine. It's quite a bit of damage, but it's fine. Alright, there's the heal. Is it fine to send Ogre bottom to Annihilate? I, I might do that. I'm a little undecided right now. Like, I kind of want to have the Ogre on the top lane, just so I have a chance to multicast my Thunder God's Wrath. Which is always nice whenever you get to multicast those, but I don't know if I have to. Okay. I think we're Annihilating bottom. Like, now that both... Yeah, like, I mean both creeps on bottom anyway. Just feels a little bit bad because I do Thunder God's Wrath here every time, no matter what. I'm really hoping for stars online. It's kind of a shame. All right, this this still happens. Like this this always happens. All right, so this is dead. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and put down an Agnum Sanctum into the mid here. This is the will of the ancient. And we just kind of killed us. Cool. Then we have this situation, and now this is I'm a little, something I'm a little bit unsure about. I don't actually even need to annihilate there. I can just at any cost. 
Yeah, we'll just do this. It's fine. It's funny, you know, the, and uh, just as simple at any cost, we'll look like clear the line. We'll just do. We'll do everything I needed to. And there's nothing you can do to prove to like prevent it. So. And the thing about that, at any cost, and any cost is much harder to use than annihilation. Like that's why I only play two of them. Like a lot of lists run two, uh, not run three, but I've just kind of come to the conclusion that I find it difficult to actually get much value out of. Um, do I heal? I'm going to watch you bleed. And then, <laughs> at any cost, and then demagogic king mole, and hope I get the fifty-fifty. That seems like uh, maybe stretching a little bit. You know, that might be might be a bit optimistic. Nah. Nah, we'll just blow it up. We'll just blow up the lane. It's fine. So, the question is, where is that Zeus going? Um, the answer is, it, it's not that important. But, it's still a question. <clears throat> so ideally we want to win this round. Basically annihilate by cheaper. Yeah, it's really good against black decks. Like, um, at any cost, it's incredibly good against black decks, and it's like mega garbage against red. And it does kind of okay against blue and green. Like, against blue and green, it kind of comes down to the specific situation. But against red, it's incredible. Unearthed secrets, and... I mean, I expect an annihilation. I still haven't gotten much ramp here. Feels bad. Oh. Wait, did that kill all of that? Damn, feels bad, man. Alright. Well, so we're gonna start by doing this. I mean, we just get to go absolutely nutty here now. <laughs> so, I wonder if we can kill this turn. How many units do we have? I don't think we have enough units for that. There's nothing I can't hunt. Oh, I know what I do. Oh, I, I know what we do here. Wait, no. I don't have enough mana for it. Damn it. I was hoping to like emissary of the quorum uh here and then like blink over the draw range and then cast emissary in the mid again, but I don't have enough mana. But I'm probably doing that uh anyway. I do want to get rid of this ignite though. So, we definitely play an Emissary here every time. Because, like, the thing is that the Emissary is just, um... Like, it threatens people. How many attacks do I have going face? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna have eight. So, we do 16, another 16. Ah, uh, that's not enough. Yeah, get another two, but... So, out of total of 34. 34 is just not enough. Um, Clash of Ream, Hourglass, the Denizer draw. So now we buff here. I'll make it quick. And honestly, I think I am blinking this Draw Ranger out of here. And I don't think I'm putting anything into this top lane. Um, next turn. Top lane is looking fine. I can just kind of like get a little bit of damage in here. I'll make short work of my enemies. I don't want to play the second emissary. Unearthed secrets doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to do anything here. Double emissary? No, I've lost so many games to doing that. Like, seriously, I have lost so many games to just going too hard on a single lane. It's just not worth it. Like, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a backup plan, especially going into such a strong next turn here. Right? Like, I mean, if you look at this guy's next turn, um, I've only got one hero respawning. He's got four heroes respawning. Like, it's just kind of absurd. Put the Ogre Magic bottom every time because we probably need to annihilate that lane again. And top lane is just fine on its own. Like the emissary got that under control. So the only lane we really need to worry about is mid. Yeah, 
Ej, jo, koko. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, what he does here. Like, we're still playing at a pretty massive advantage. So, I expect there to just be an annihilation on the top, right? Ideally, we get a gust, nice. Yeah, I expect to just get top annihilated. Yeah. See, this is why we don't didn't want to put down two emissaries. Because then this happens, and, and uh, that's just not good for us. So now we go into this lane, and this is where we just gust. Pew. Cool. I mean, that obviously works out really well for us. And then we emissary and we buff everything, and funnily enough, that's actually going to keep everything alive. There's unearthed secrets. I'm going to put the unearthed secrets bottom. I don't plan on actually taking any damage. Like, this is... The plan is to actually be fine. But just in case we're not. Why is this taking so long? It's not like you can't do anything. You might have an orb of annihilation. No, oh, okay. That would have been a big deal. That would have sucked. All right, so we put down the emissary here. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. I am actually so happy about this. Damn, we outplayed that guy hard. Damn, I'm so good at this game. I mean, he now needs to put down like a, a health item on this nerd, else he's dead. Why is he stalling so much? All right, come on, we're gonna talk some shit here. Trust me, you're getting off easy. <laughs> I needed this. All right, nice armor. Goodbye. That's the last mistake you'll make. Go get him, Drow. This battle is far from over. Congratulations on your impending victory. Wait, no. I've come to accelerate the inevitable. I've come to accelerate Dude! the inevitable. Dude! Why is this guy taking so long? I've come to accelerate the inevitable. There we go. This guy's just taking three years for all of his turns, dude. This will help. Get out. He's got annihilations for those. <gasps> all right. Mm hmm. Okay. So what's our distribution here? I kind of want to just go all in on mid, but I don't want to get annihilated. He's only got one annihilation though. How likely is it that he's got... I shouldn't go all on mid with it. It's just not a good idea, right? I'll get you two top. I'll just put Zeus mid as well. Like, it's just not a good idea. But I can I can Thunder God's Wrath from here. If I get lucky, I might even get like a gust and Oh. Oh that works. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that, I gotta say. Alright, let's start with this. 
Pew. Cool. And then we can start snowballing this line as well. It's just we're like starting to really just threaten so many lanes. It's a little silly. So I kind of want to put some damage items here, honestly. I'm not going to put the health items. I'm going to save those until I need them. I just kind of want to start doing some damage here. Okay. So currently we just win the game. <laughs> and currently that's just what happens. Ah, he's had he had the second one. Okay. That's fine. So that means there's no more annihilation stuff. No more, my dude. No more. Um Get the blink dagger? Yeah, I'll get the blink dagger. Alright, we'll put the ogre bottom, because, like, bottom is, like, kind of what I'm trying to protect. Maybe we should have put the ogre mid, actually. Arrgh. Nah, I think ogre bottom is fine. Yeah, they're probably gonna try to kill bottom, and honestly, like, like, he needs to put something top. Like, imagine, like, probably the ogre magi or the suits goes top, and then the other two go bottom. And they've got two annihilations, I wanna just keep blowing shit up. Like, <laughs> this ogre is just uh, on a suicide mission here. This ogre has gone bottom and suicided for like the past <laughs> two respots. <laughs> that's all this ogre's doing, man. Oh, that's surprising. I didn't expect that. It was surprising. I mean, kind of bad, to be honest. Okay, gust one time. Mm, that's not great. So there's no more annihilation coming. What's the worst thing? Wrath of Gold? Oh, it doesn't even do anything, honestly. So fair and weak is useless as well. So I think we just start with the emissary, right? Bolt of Damocles? But does that even do anything? I guess worst case scenario is multicast Bolt of Damocles. Or like incarnation, multicast Bolt of Damocles and kill me. <laughs> oh no. There is actually a non-zero chance of that happening. Like incarnation into multicasting Bolt of Damocles a bunch of times. <laughs> and then we just fucking lose. That would be kind of sad, but it is definitely possible. I don't know, maybe I should bring bring this tree on bottom or something. Kind of like that the Ogre Magi is dying. That's something I'm in favor of. Because, like, you want to eliminate the blue heroes. Well, Ogre Magi is still dying, though. So I still like that. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of keep going, I guess. That means no emissary, that means no fun night pack, unless the stars on night comes on. I mean, there is a world in which I'm just annihilating this line this, this turn as well. Is there a limit to amount of given cards in the deck? Could you play Salamane and four bolts? Uh, no. You can play more uh, at most three cards of any any card in a deck. Alright. Oh, he multicasted that motherfucker. 
All right, that's fine. Because, like, so far, I mean, you're out of mana. It's not a rock, but it'll do. Okay, where's this guy going? This is actually really important. Because I think I'm, like, it's going mid. Okay, we're chasing. Are we? We just, like, gonna try to kill here. Are we chasing this? I mean, we're putting this tower down to 13. That's pretty fucking low. 15 seconds remaining. I think we're just gonna put the tower down to 13. Like, this isn't really doing any damage. Like, this is fine. I don't know if I'm supposed to be chasing here. I do have a blink dagger. I, I could put the blink dagger on the counter and like go into the mid as well. I feel like I gotta just like actually take a win sometime, you know? Like this tower, is, like this this ancient is so close to dead. And we still have an emissary here. Like I feel like th I feel like this top lane is just the best lane for me to actually commit things into. And there's just not enough pressure coming out here. Alright, does board of Damoclus kill me? Shit, I mean, but then if I'm chasing with something, I'm chasing with Kana, right? I can put an ignite here and then pray in a week. You all will scream. Oh, I should have done this sooner if I was gonna do it, but like just scared and I want to get bolded for 20 like the fact that he has this shit in the deck is really annoying because I have to play around it like I have to like I don't think he's gonna do anything with it I don't think he's actually gonna use it I'm ready to but I have to play around it and that's really annoying there is nothing cannot overcome it's fine. We're still e easily push pushing enough damage to kill next turn. Like, that's not a problem. Okay. They can't kill this, right? Not even with face boots. Accept your fate. Okay. So again, there's still a world where we just get Yeah, this sucks. Like that's what I thought he was going for. God fucking damn it, he just has infinite Thunder God's Wrath. Alright. Go ahead and get these guys. Into action. So this bottom lane is looking like it's actually gonna die soon. Although admittedly he doesn't have much damage, but it's just the Thunder God's Wrath just keep on coming. Now he's got like he's got two more here. Like <laughs> what do I do against that? It's just so dumb. Okay, gotta heal this Kana. I do have enough healing. I've got I have healing for days. You can't stop the dire. You can't run from the dire. Oh, he multicasted that as well. I feel rested. Well, this is just getting a little ridiculous.
Is it because you want to play the relevant diabolic again? And you don't want the creep to die? Is... Is, is, is that why? Oh, the TVR is annoying. Why did he just heal that creep? Okay, yeah, so we're taking free damage here. I mean, I expect to just get Thunder God's Wrath again. Hey, Melody Ham! Thank you for the sub, my dude. Appreciate it. How much direct damage is there? Three bolts and there's something that deals with like five, I think, then dude that deals four. Can you make a deck that just defends you, then with Salamence, Smoke, enemy towers? Uh, probably not. Because like, for that idea to work, you need an enemy to like, first of all, you need a lot of mana. Bolt of Damocles is the most expensive card in the game. And then secondly, secondly, um, it's just not, it's not that fast to do it like that. Okay, it's actually still not enough damage. It still buys me another turn. I actually get a card draw, which I'm happy about. But playing Bolt of Salamine will refresh the mana. But yeah, but it doesn't give you to the point where you have enough mana. Like, you still need 10 mana to play Bolt of Damocles. Incarnation of Salamine doesn't make the card free. You still need 10 mana. So you would usually want to play green for that, but green doesn't really have any smoke like that. Ah, damn. Well, there goes the tower. I guess I could have healed that creep. Okay, so how are these about 36, 32? So I'm actually fine. I'm I'm easily out of Bolt of Damocles range. But that's the thing, like, Why? kind of sucks that we lose this tower, but at the same time, I'm just like, I'm I'm actually fine. I don't know why I'm stressing out so much. Like, I think it's just that this guy is taking 7 million hours per turn is what's stressing me out. Because look at that, he's down to 50 seconds. I have almost 12 minutes of time left. Well, I can't afford any of that. Okay, so Draw Ranger goes here and Zeus goes here. Does Zeus go there or does Zeus go bottom? I think Zeus goes bottom. Just in case. Alright, we do still have two annihilations for like worst case scenarios. No, I don't know. I kind of would like to have the Zeus and a, and a lane where I can actually attack with him. So the first thing I want to do here, unless I get Gust. Right? If I get Gust, the first thing I want to do is Gust. Okay. So the first thing I want to do here is heal the Treant. Because the worst thing that can happen to me, Incarnation, and then just... Thunder Gods wrath me down. And that's a pretty real possibility, honestly. I can I can very much just lose right now to um incarnation and like three to six Thunder Gods Wrath. It needs four, right? For me to like actually properly lose the game, he needs to hit four of them. But it's definitely possible. Like it's not out of reach by any means. Okay, so that means no incarnation. That's really good. Okay, we'll put down you here. How can I help you I mean, currently we are winning the game. Right? Like, currently it's over. Unless he's got something... Something new. Like, honestly, if he casts Thunder God's Wrath, I just win. Right? Seven plus... No, no, I don't. I'm missing one damage. I am missing one point of damage. 
I can set up a kill for next turn though. How much have you done any working Meepo decks? So does quick development work on all Meepos? Quick deployment. Uh, so uh, no, it doesn't. I have tried to make Meepo decks work. They do not work. They are terrible. So I think I'm putting this here. Because the bottom lane is the lane that I'm most likely to just be willing to actually take damage in. In every other lane, I will fight to the death to not take any damage. But I don't really care about the bottom lane. Okay. All seeing one, give me strength. Hmm. It's no annihilation. What is it? Thundergod's Wrath? I mean, Thundergod's Wrath looks the most likely right now. So I take this guy, swap him in here. A curious device. Our cause is just, and we must prepare. Okay. Well, I want to kill this Omni Knight, so I'm actually going to swap like this. Foresight don't do anything right now. All seeing one. Damn. This guy is just living. Stupid Omni Knight is not dying, dude. <laughs> How much mana you got? Damn, the Ogre is living too. Holy crap. Okay. Hmm. They blink out the draw range and annihilate. Should have faced him as a creep. Yeah, probably. Fifteen seconds remaining. I think I blink out the draw range. She doesn't do anything here. Okay, let's start by giving you an item. Okay, that's the Thunder God's Wrath. We can bring the Draw Ranger top. Surprises are no. This dude is running really low on time. Shall not be denied. I mean, this is just gonna be a Thunder God's Wrath, right? There will be nothing left of you oh no. But smoldering remains. Okay. Hmm. There will be nothing left of you. I'll we'll put an ignite here. Remains. He's out of time, right? Do I win? make the most intriguing things. It's not quite out of time. Okay. Um, I guess I will. I mean, like, at this stage, you're just buying everything in the shop. So we've got Ogre respawning. We just put the Ogre top, right? Like, what can he do? He's green. He's completely out of options. I think we got him. He killed his Ogre Magi for some reason. That was just not good. But he's clearly just out of time. Like, the thing is, like, he killed his own Ogre Magi. And now the game is over. But... But, like, I get it. It was just... You know. Like, he has nothing he can do about this. This is just game over. Um... But I get it because they was just uh, he was just running really low on time, <laughs> right? Like there's just not much time left. <gasps> Got him! Nice. All right, cool. Got him. 
Feels good. Feels good. <clears throat> I am not selecting my deck before he selects his deck. Black red. Very typical black red. Um, do I just stick to my? I'll just stick to what I know. Uh, I'll just stick to what I. He just changed it. He just changed back after seeing what I did. This is exactly the problem, man. This is exactly the problem. I don't want to play in this tournament anymore. This tournament is badly organized and has bad rules. This is such nonsense. This is just terrible. Like, that's the thing that bothers me the most, that it's just a really obviously terrible rule set. Because it just turns it into a game of chicken. Like, I hate it. I hate it so much. What a t-shirt, it's a hoodie. Like, playing in a tournament is fun. I just don't want to play in this tournament. This tournament is nonsense. It's just terrible. That's a hero killer deck, though, right? It kind of tries to push. Not super hard, though. It's more hero killer. to go bottom. She will die everywhere else. I mean, what else can I do? You know, I'll go I'll go top. I have a chance for a high roll. I have a chance for a really, really strong high roll. So we're just gonna pray for that. Dimensional portal. An emissary. It's not quite enough, damn it. What are you doing? Guess you need a new microwave. I don't know. We do. Because you stunk up the last one too much. It won't come out. I tried. This is my third time. Fifteen trying. seconds remaining. It's oh. not happening. I will find one on Amazon. Don't worry. Okay. Five seconds remaining. Three, I'm actually gonna go two. down here. Even being stuck with you can't ruin my day. Words hurt. I can go for a game winning play <laughs> next time. Like I can actually just win the game. I can actually win the game this turn. I can do absurd things down here right now. I can Rose Leaf, Stars Online, Refresh, Emissary. And then I just need to keep pushing this lane. And he doesn't really have a good response. He doesn't play Slay. His best response is probably like... Uh, Coup de Grau only works in Heroes, right? He doesn't have any response. So then I just need to defend the first two lanes. I can, at any cost here. So, yeah. This will be fine. I raise the I okay. There's nothing you can do to kill this, right? I don't need to worry. Yes. There's no play available. Five. Eight. Refresh. Emissary. <clears throat> okay, now I just need to keep pushing the emissary button every single turn. In the meantime, I need to try and defend the other lanes. 
I'm going to put a hero here and I'm going to put... So I'm putting Zeus top mostly because I'm worried that if I only have the the Ogre Magi, then at any cost, I might not be able to cast at any cost due to a gank or something like that. And that will be a way I lose. But yeah, uh, this bottom lane is just... Yeah, it's just a complete disaster for him now. It's really good for us. I could have tried to like go push even harder bottom actually, maybe. I don't know if that was the right play. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have put Kana bottom and just like gun all in on that. Try to base race him. I'm almost certainly faster. That may have been the right play. I'm unsure. So this is not good. A suitable tree. It's fine. You've been chosen. Um. I think we're gonna win this. We're gonna take it slow. Of course we are. I was trained by the best. Damn it. <laughs> well, that was a waste of everybody's time. I think I do still go for it at any cost. Slows down the lane more than any other play. You wanted my attention. Well, now you have it. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to slow down the lane. <clears throat> that's all I have to do, right? Yeah. Again, I, I have the bottom lane secure. It's a real shame that I have to, that, that I that this was the bottom lane. Like if it was the the mid lane, it would have been better. Top lane was actually impossible. Like the the kind of play I went for it doesn't work in the top lane. It's only possible in the mid or bottom. Um. But yeah. Hello. Okay. The important thing is that there's not that much damage coming out. Time of Triumph is still away. Like, that's the thing. We might be able to actually AD this before Time of Triumph is even available. And that would be massive. So we Dimensional Portal here. And that is entirely just to stall. Like, this is just... This, this takes the turn away. Makes it so that there's just no real damage output happening here. The estate will gladly pay for your service, you bounty hunter. Okay. Fine. And here we are. This is our I'm favorite lane. Yep. We're just gonna keep doing this. Keep smacking him in the face with that. Okay. It's gonna blink down. Um. So I don't think there's much happening top. Nothing I need to immediately deal with. So I'm just gonna let that happen. And I'm gonna put the draw range in mid. I think that's more important. I mean, because like, what's the worst thing that can happen here? Like, stone all lead? Like, that doesn't even, that doesn't kill. That doesn't get them anywhere near. So here we are. This is where we just gust. Actually, we don't, right? We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. I'm not gonna put any creep here. So this is a guaranteed draw. Sometimes power demands sacrifice. 
Okay. And we just do that. Then we're down here. I mean, routed is likely. The only place a single copy. We're still getting the tower. Tower's still down. Secret. I mean, it's still good that we drew it because we gotta gotta draw it at some point. Okay, we'll put you here. I kind of want to go here with this, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I feel like I, but I only have prayer in a week. Prayer in a week doesn't do anything now. Pray on a week is actually really strong in the mid lane. So if I can pray on a week there, that would be pretty good. I need some more cards. Like, I, I just don't have any any good draws right now. I have no cards that actually do anything. I cannot use those. Well, we're still alive. That's the good news. I mean, currently this line is actually looking fine. I don't mind this. Oh, I do mind that a little bit. So, prayer in a week would have been pretty good in that line. If I TP out, I lose this tower. I can just gust this. That keeps it alive for a while longer. I haven't gotten any annihilations. Like, that's my problem. I haven't gotten any of the big clear. seconds remaining they sacrificed this tower uh, what if I five this seconds tower? remaining three two one all right we'll blink him into the mid i think it's more realistic to keep the mid alive I can just get a massive prey in a week. Like, absolutely huge. Ready to leave. Oh, no. Another hourglass. <laughs> well, these, these are a real problem, man. I'm not, leaving the battlefield. I'm not gonna get any draws next turn. Like, I, I'm actually not gonna be able to get any, any new plays. I will only be able to do, like, another prey in a week or something like that. And this hourglass situation is actually what's screwing me the most. And then you got the 50-50 here. Okay. So we are actually just pushing a lot of damage now ourselves. Maybe we can just kill him. Like, that's a possibility. Do I TP out this Drow Ranger? I don't think so. I think we just just have this happen. Okay, cool. Here we still emissary. Okay, and then we go. I have no draws. I have nothing I can do in that regard. So we just go all mid. If he kills me top, I die. <laughs> There's actually a very realistic chance that we can win this game. Very realistic. It's just hard. But yeah, the... The Clash Room Hourglass is what's really messing with us. So... Hello, honey, what are you doing? Uh, no, I'm in the middle of a game. Revelation to pray in a week? No. 
That wouldn't even be good. Kills all of my dudes. So what we're gonna do, gonna try to do, is gust and win. <gasps> we won. <laughs> we actually won. The game is over. Un unless he can kill us. Can you do 60 more damage? Which is actually a real possibility. Like, there's definitely a chance. But unless he can do 60 more damage, we actually win. Uh, okay, PA mid. If he blinks the PA mid, that would make things a little bit more difficult. But I still think we win most of the time. No, I think he's just gonna try to like kill me here. It's not enough. And now I'm on. It's still not enough. Hit me? Hit me? Just pass? Fuck. Oh, wait! That doesn't reduce damage at all. We are fine. We win. It's over. It's over. We won. Oh, let's go! I didn't think we would win this, but I think I managed to sneak out a victory on this one. Like, this one was... This was real sneaky, man. This was real fucking sneaky. There's nothing in his deck that gains initiative. So, he, he, it's over. Like, there's no, nothing he can do. I will just gust, prey on the weak. I don't even need to prey on the weak. And that's just it. It's done. There we go. Unless he's got vestures. There's no way he's got vestures. Why would he have vestures? He doesn't play them. I mean, he could have, like, randomly gotten them. He's got too many items in hand for now. They're too expensive. Man. Holy shit, man. What are you waiting on? You know what options you have. Just do something or don't. Oh my god. I... We fucking did... I cannot believe we won this game. Oh my god. <laughs> That is crazy. And he instantly leaves.